asked me to get up and open the back door for him. I got up, went to open it, and I fell, fainted backwards over a doorknob and I went to sleep. I woke up the next morning. I did not know my name or birthday or combination of the two. Over the next course of a week or whatever, I lost my memory entirely. The first two years of college were a nightmare of, I had no previous knowledge of like class info. So finding classes where I could like not immediately fail because I didn't know how to do something was very hard. My mom said, why don't you take an art class? Because you don't have to have previous art training to become an art major. After graduation, my partner, Ryan, who's a photographer, and I moved to St. Louis with Finn. Um, I was working at an art gallery and I was working part-time at the City Museum, which is a very cool place. It's spectacular. It was a dream to work there. The Getty Museum Challenge, trying to get people to engage with online collections. And it, the instructions were take three objects from around your house, pick a painting from our collection, and take a picture and upload it side by side. In my head, I was so tunnel visioned on Finn as a dog, let me find a painting with a dog. So I did that and I found one. It's a woman with a little tiny dog right next to her sitting on a couch. And after that one, I was like, oh God, he can be anything. I don't need to put him in this box of like, he's a dog, he can only be a dog. He changed as a dog, giving him a task, him doing that task and then getting the reward from me of being like, great job, good boy, and then you're all done. He like immediately relaxed and his anxiety diminished over the following weeks. We've stayed with it every day. To this day, I think we've done 415. Um, and we started, it'll be three years in April. It is beautifully chaotic and extremely exhausting. And he, he stretched and did a little tail wiggle when I said that, so he, he wasn't upset. I think he agrees. <laughs>